Got it. One thing is certain, the era of big government will not be over if President Obama is replaced by a President Romney or a President Gingrich. In fact, Gingrich's victory was a major victory for the progressive movement in America in maintaining its hold on power. Still, Speaker Gingrich would like you to believe he is different, that he really stands for limited government. In last night's debate, Gingrich claimed he was an early supporter of Barry Goldwater in 1964. No one finds that harder to believe than Lou Rockwell, founder and chair of the Mises Institute and a one-time volunteer for Goldwater's campaign in 1964. Lou, can you tell us, what was Newt Gingrich's role during the Goldwater-Rockefeller battle in 1964? Well, Judge New wasn't only an ideological Rockefeller Republican, which he, he continues to be, he was an actual Rockefeller Republican. He was uh, chairman of Students for Rockefeller in, uh, in the South. He worked very hard for Nelson Rockefeller. He tried to make him president while, uh, I would say, the analogs of the Ron Paul kids were working our hearts out for Barry Goldwater and uh, working against the Newt Gingriches of the world. Uh, Newt Gingrich is not only uh, a person who supported Nelson Rockefeller against Barry Goldwater. He actually once, I think, had a confrontation with you about why conservatives should be happy with the presidency of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. What, what the heck was that all about? No, I, I was, well, I was giving a speech and I was praising the members of the old right, um, John T. Flynn, Garrett Garrett and the others, who went up against Roosevelt and his New Deal. And he got up in the, in the audience, very angry, uh, denounced me and said, uh, uh, Franklin Roosevelt was one of America's great presidents. He must be recognized as such, and the New Deal must not be criticized. And of course, I mean, it's, it's uh, true that uh, Gingrich, besides being a Rockefeller Republican, might also be described as an FDR Republican. Uh, what would be more of a nightmare for libertarians? President Obama and whatever he plans to say tonight delivering the State of the Union or a President Gingrich a year from tonight delivering a State of the Union? I actually think Gingrich would be worse. I mean, just as Obama has been significantly worse than Bush, so would Gingrich be significantly worse than Obama, uh, not only because he has these, as he, as he puts it, these grandiose ideas for uh, so-called national greatness, meaning vast new federal programs going to the moon and all that sort of thing. Unfortunately, he's not going on the voyage, but he, he advocates that sort, that sort of thing. So he wants a much bigger government. I also think he's got, a, like many neoconservatives, he's got a crazy gene in him. I mean, when you see him talking about how we ought to be uh, nuking Iran and all the other wars he wants to start, and of course he wants to keep the current wars going, he believes in the police state, he believes in the TSA feeling everybody up, he believes in our emails being read, our phones being listened to, uh, our people being tased, he believes in the whole uh, incredible, disastrous, scary police state apparatus being built in this country. So I, I think that, uh, unfortunately, as a Republican, he would be able to get away with more than Obama's right. been able to get away with. All the Republican um, unthinking types would be backing him just because he has an R after his name. Got it. Lou Rockwell, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Judge.